U.S. officials have really spent this week, those four days, ratcheting back some initially aggressive comments um, about the need for China and Russia to cooperate with requests to send Edward Snowden back to face his charges. Uh, this is something President Barack Obama moved to moderate even more today in comments that he made during a press conference with reporters in Senegal, where he's on the first leg of his Africa trip. I have not called President Xi personally or President Putin personally and the reason is because uh, number one I shouldn't have to this is something that routinely is dealt with uh, between law enforcement officials in various countries and this is not uh, exceptional from a legal perspective now, Obama's comments touched on something that I've been hearing pretty regularly in my conversations with U.S. officials. There is a belief that there's a pathway, largely due to relationships between law enforcement agencies in the two countries, Russia and the United States, to secure Snowden's return. And that pathway, whatever it may be, will be key because, as Obama told reporters today, I'm not going to be scrambling the jets to get a 29-year-old hacker. And let's talk about Ecuador for a moment here, because this is a country that Edward Snowden has petitioned for asylum. We don't believe he's there right now, but does the U.S. have any leverage over this country? Should Snowden eventually figure out a way to get there? You know, Scarlett, it's, it's a fascinating political play from Ecuador today. Um, the U.S. does have leverage, and it's in trade agreements. Um, and, and for Ecuador, the U.S. is a very important trading partner. They exported $9.5 billion in goods to the U.S. in 2012, $9.6 billion in 2011. Um, $1.1 billion of that came from agriculture products, including nearly $150 million in cut flowers. Now, these cut flowers uh, benefit greatly from a trade preferences agreement that they have with the United States. Well, the Ecuadorian government government today announced that they are renouncing the trade agreement with the United States. They said, uh, and I quote, this is external pressure to reduce sovereignty. Um, so this was a move I don't think anybody expected, and it really kind of took the legs right out from some of the leverage that U.S. lawmakers were looking at should Edward Snowden ever make his way over to the country.